the appointment of Comptroller. <coughs> I move to approve the appointment of Shirley Stewart as Comptroller for the Town of Cicero, effective January 1st, 2010. Second. Once again, this is a, um, a decision uh, that's uh, it's a change of the department head. Uh, I think it would warrant some discussion. Um, the supervisor, do you have any objection to that? No, I don't. Uh, relative to the, uh, once again, as I stated before, uh, last uh, Tuesday, I had opportunity to meet with Supervisor-elect and uh, inquired as to who may be the new controller for the town of Cicero and uh, was not given an answer uh, as to who that may be. Uh, today, I received my minutes uh, later in the afternoon. Uh, once again, that, that position is left blank. Um, and this is the first time hearing about this individual being appointed as controller uh, for the town of Cicero. Uh, once again, uh, the previous controller was let go in, in mid-December uh, told that her services were going to be no longer required. I think the proper procedure would have been to uh, allow her an opportunity to uh, continue her employment and uh, while perhaps another uh, opportunity for her job search uh, was conducted by the town of Cicero if her services were not uh, adequate, which would involve a uh, notification in the paper as to the position uh, and then the submission of uh, applications, and then that information being shared with all the town board members uh, relative to that. Uh, uh, Mr. Conway, did you know who the, uh, was going to be appointed uh, to the position of comptroller before this evening? I knew it this afternoon or this morning. Was there an interview process conducted in order uh, for the selection of the new controller for the town of Cicero? There was. Who was part of that um, interview committee? Myself and Jessica and Lynn. And Jenny. how many applications were submitted for that particular position, if you could tell me? Two. Who else was interested? Jean Colessa. She's the, she was the controller at the time. Uh, was, there was no other application submitted? There was not. Was there any other solicited? There was not. Any notification in the paper as far as you're aware? No, there wasn't. <coughs> Do you agree that that information should have been shared with uh, Mr. Conway and myself before this evening? I do. Once the process was in place and um, it was the person that was selected had an opportunity to decide whether or not she was going to be able to take the position. So you just got information today to uh, yesterday uh, that, or confirmation yesterday. And I did speak to you when we did set along with. Jessica and Lynn, when we talked about it, and I told you that there was a process, and I would not know until near end of the week. That's correct. You did state that. Um, I have no other, no other questions. Thank you. Could we call the roll, please? Yes, Mr. Conway. Hmm. Yes. Mr. Jennings? Yes. Ms. Zimbrano? Yes. Mr. Coral? Once again, I, I, I don't know who else had an opportunity, well, Ms. Kalesa had an opportunity to apply, but the process should be uh, if a new town or controller is going to be selected, we should have an opportunity to all have input, uh, all the board members, so I would vote. Uh, I believe you know, we have a motion on the floor, Mr. Carl. I appreciate the fact, but before I make my decision on this, I think it's uh, reasonable to say I have an opportunity to um, uh, explain to the public as to why uh, I'm going to vote a certain way. Um, okay. So w with that being said, I think uh, the proper pro protocol would be for an application process and everybody have an opportunity to have an input as to that final uh, decision. So uh, with that being said, uh, I don't think proper procedure was followed, so I'm going to vote no on the motion. Ms. Boyke? Yes. Um, <laughs> um, 
with, with that being said, uh, I know it's not part of this uh, organizational minutes, but I'd like an opportunity to Don't propose a motion that. also for if we're going to select a new controller for the town of Cicero is to allow everybody an opportunity to su submit resumes. Um, uh, this is a crucial position. We have a $10 million budget and we, have, we should be able to recruit, not that the particular candidate that has been hired uh, will not make the proper choices, but I think we need to recruit and make sure that we have applications submitted by everybody uh, who would be interested in the position. Um, so therefore, I make a motion that the town of Cicero undergo a, a search to retain, retain the services of a comptroller, and such will be done by a publication of the post standard for this position, and that all town board members be a part of the process of interviewing, selecting, reviewing the resumes, before a, uh, <coughs> to allow an opportunity to make a final decision as to who the controller for the town of Cicero will be, and that's in the, made of, in the, uh, that's in the form of a motion. Second. Mr. Conway? Yes. Mr. Jennings? No. Ms. Zimbrano? No. Mr. Coral? Yes. Ms. Boyke? No. I, I <laughs> This is this is pretty uh, this is pretty ironic, um, uh, Mr. Coral's objections because at the time the comptroller uh, that was in this position was appointed, uh, I had the um, uh, the objections that we got no information. So it, it's just very interesting. We can move on. Thank you. I, I move uh, to approve the following salaries for 2010 in the Comptroller's office. Shirley Stewart, Comptroller, $58,975.34. Diane Salucci, Account Clerk, Deputy Comptroller, $41,562.50. And and a budget officer at $10,000 to be determined at a later time. Second. Mr. Conway. Yes. Mr. Jenny. Yes. Ms. Zimbrano. Yes. Mr. Coral. Yes. Ms. Boyd. Yes. <laughs> 